matrix as a concept, as a thing, has no, as half of was saying, okay, you could have, if it's going to be new, the only way, I believe the only way, I think I said it before, the only way you can make a new matrix is you're going to have to account for Neo, which even Lionel Trotsky understood with that whole Niobe exposition speech. You, The only thing I could have ever foreseen happen is that, as everybody thought, the matrix is a just a different level. But with Neo, Neo really was the one because he had something different, which was Trinity, and Trinity mm -hmm. made him go into a different door. He went into the wrong door, which he had never gone into before, because something changed, because the anomaly, the anomaly was Trinity. And because he did that, my theory, my storyline would have gone to something like, Neo will never return. Because his, his conception of the anomaly, his iteration dies with Trinity, because he's gone into the wrong door. He would have been rebooted had he gone into the right door. When he goes into the left door, then what he does is he awakens the ability for them to go to the next tier of the matrix. We don't know what that tier is. Maybe that is the final tier. It might just be tier three of tier 3000. Wait, sorry. Wait, you said it, it, it allows them to go to the next tier of the matrix? Who the next is, tier. Which, 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 and we don't know what it is. Because wait, basically, wait, wait. Who is, who is them? What, what do you mean? Who's them? Human beings. The human beings are going to the next tier of the matrix. Because... They need to explain, first of all, he has stopped sentinels in what we think is the real world. Yes. You, can, you cannot do that unless oh, you're I see where you're going. Yeah, so yeah, basically, I... exactly. So now he's doing yeah. now, now that he's now gone into the other place and he hasn't gone where he's supposed to go. This has now set off a new and listen, I'm not gonna write the whole story tonight now, but it sets up a whole chain of events where basically they're going to the next, it's the next level of reality. Oh, man, it could right have been now. so interesting, man. Exactly. What a and, shame. And, and as Hapop said, as Hapop said, what you'd be, you'd be doing now is say, what Neo did threatened the stability of the matrix in a way that it had never been threatened before. So what they now did was they invented social media. They invented TikTok, Twitter, everything they could think of to block people's brains. So as Hapop was saying, the new war would be, how do you get people out of all this crazy social media, which has even embedded their brains deeper into the ADD, dumbed down, <laughs> idiotic level of existence? And that is basically where they'd be as a result. So this, so the next movie would be basically, Neo is going to die. He's, this Neo is still there, but he's never coming back. But because he's dying, he now basically transfers his code or whatever to somebody else, who therefore becomes the new one and that person is trying to basically break into whatever the reality is. But the thing that will make it interesting now is that human beings now start asking the question that that guy in Matrix One said that the human beings, they, the, 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 the machines make the world in a way that stabilizes us because we cannot handle the utopia. So the new religion, according to Neo, so basically Neo's new religion is that you're never free. So, so because it's almost like Neo almost becomes like a prophet when he dies in the Matrix Four, and maybe he imparts his code to some, you know, some young girl or something, because it's got to be a new girl all this time, hasn't it? He imparts it, and the whole point of the part four is that the Matrix is trying to stop him from imparting new knowledge to this next one, and the most important knowledge he's going to impart to her through code is that never stop looking, never, never ever believe you're free which no human beings apply that can I no, no, okay. no, just, just look a bit very quick because my because it's so frustrating especially what's when Pete is going because it's like you can make it so relevant as relevant as the first matrix was back in 99 a new one can be so relevant because what is everyone saying oh you're, you're always stuck on Twitter you're always stuck on Instagram Twitter Instagram Twitter Instagram and Twitter and Instagram that is the prison holding you away from actually going out and actually living in the world. So the very theme of a new matrix is people will TikTok. always take that. My thing is that why would I want to give up TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter to go to a place where it's dark, there's no sun, it's cold, oh, I'm free. Who cares? Who cares if I'm free? Who cares if it's real? It's crap. So how do you convince that person to give up 
Twitter and an Instagram to live in the real world. How? And that is your dilemma. So. But I'm saying, yeah, that's like, for me, the most interesting thing would be, I would say, if Neo had a code, he had a special code within him that and the principle of the code was that the one never accepts that they are the one and keeps pushing for the next iterate, the next level, the next level, the next level. But he can only import that as code because he's going to die. But and if he imports that code, then the matrix is screwed because no matter how many levels they have, the, the ones are going to keep trying to penetrate it. And that is the only the only weakness they have is that human beings are never looking for the next level because they believe they've already beaten the first level. If Neo could somehow transfer that but that ability or that requirement or that, per, per, that per, I don't know what the word is, perpetuity, whatever you want to yeah. call it, to, to the next one, then the matrix is going to be screwed. So the whole point of a pot floor would be stopping that connection between Neo before he dies and whoever that next one is going to be. Can I just say, look, what you just put on the table is, is, is infinitely better than what we saw in Matrix 4. But I am weary, especially when it comes to science fiction, where there is no stable foundation. You know, it's like um, Inception. Like, how many levels are there? I mean, I get that's the whole point of it, but it's, to me, I, I, I personally do not like those kinds of stories. I well, need... I need solid ground to stand on. No, but yeah. but just but just what the, I don't need quicksand. The, the most interesting thing about the matrix is that whether you like it or not, that is what the matrix is. How do you ever get to what the reality is? There has to be something in you that says, and you know that. And okay, put it this way, and this is the perfect way for me to explain it. When you you get a program, you know brute force programs that crack passwords. Yeah. That's exactly, the, that's the principle. What, what Neo is going to impart is brute force capability. So it doesn't matter how many layers they try to create, the brute force capability, and because it, it can do it over one second. But the, the whole purpose is Neo imparts, basically Neo becomes a prophet and his prophecy is brute force hacking. That's it. No, I'm, no, because see, my thing is that they messed up because at the end of Reloaded, that should have been the clue of, oh, snap, Zan is another level of the Matrix. Because what the machines have done is giving no, him well, a... Guys, guys, well, guys, 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 <laughs> well, guys, you've got to say that that's, that was a pretty good, that's a pretty good idea, though, isn't it? <laughs> they had it. They <laughs> had it. No, no, no. Of course, no. it's good, and it's a lot better than that. No, 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 actually, no, actually, no, but half of, but just for the record, I doubt anybody could come up with a better concept for the Matrix than that. If yes. Neo was going, Neo, no, as, as, no, come on, tell me, if you're saying that, if, if you're going to beat the Matrix, you're going to have to use brute force hacking like a password hacker, and that comes through as a philosophy that people actually pray to. That is his, his, that is the prayer to Neo as Neo the prophet, which is brute force hacking within the matrix. Oh no, yeah, no, no, but but, but see, even to your point though, because it's this is going to your point. At the end of Re Reloaded, when Neo stops the sentin sent sentinels in the real world, I was like, oh snap. Well, that's the rest of, 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 of the of the matrix. Yeah. So what the actor was saying is that we have it's the it is the perfect form of control by giving you the idea that, oh, we've now come out of this matrix, this is not the real world, you will never question the real world. So what you do is you create a program that, that, that's a prison and another program that acts as the real world. So the issue is that, as Peter just said, there are just these several levels because it goes with the theme. The theme is what is real? How do you know, know that this is real? How do you know Zion is, is, is real? How could... What makes Zion different from the Matrix? How do you know Zion is real? You've just yeah, exactly, 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 exactly. Yes, how, how, but how does a, a computer work? As a computer works, and this is what makes it so exciting and interesting, the computer now sees that he's in this level. Now they, they, they think this level is fake, so we need another level. They're breaking through. 
But once they break through, you've got this paper. They now think that's fake. So they're going to break through that. So we're going to quickly, before they break through it, it just goes on forever. To, yeah. so, so, and because that's how computers work, this happens can happen over in one second. It can go through a million calculations to keep making le levels that they can't get through. So they don't even need to plan it. That's just how it's built. It just keeps making infinite variations of higher levels of that shell. You know, like almost like a Russian doll, layer, layer, layer. So therefore, you have this conflict. So your actual final battle, the final battle between the new one and the new Smith can be literally the brute force, the embodiment of Neo's, Neo's philosophy, which is brute force hacking, can now find is basically fighting that infinite shell, the infinite Russian doll, creating new layers, layer, 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 layer. And if it can ever outrun the speed at which it can create the new layer, they break free. It's all about speed. If the brute force hacking can accelerate beyond the, the matrix ability to create a fake layer, they enter the real world. And that's a philosophy. Fantastic story. Pap. Uh. <laughs> I'm, cho I'm chosen one. I don't. I'm not chosen one. Likes good stories. That's a cracking story. It is very good. But like I said, it's just a personal preference of mine. Where I I want to wake up from the dream at some point. That's just me. I, I you know I think like the ending of Matrix One was probably like the best way they could have ended it. In terms of what? Though? Well, just what he said, like the finality of it. Neo becomes the one. He becomes aware. He tells everybody what's going on. People get freed. You no, know, but since you my thing though is that like, this, this is what I've always said. When I watched The Matrix, I was like, okay, well, this is cool and everything. But I did because I didn't really get it. The first thing was like, okay, I know this is good and everything, but I'm like, I don't really get it. Then I had to watch Reloaded. Then it was watching Reloaded that made me appreciate The Matrix. And I was like, oh, geez, this was happening. But I'm like in the minority, and I think maybe Pete as well. That Reloaded was important because for me matrix isn't enough i'm like yeah this, this guy just flew now what like it's not enough to me like oh that's the ending and no this guy just they, they flew it's nah, just nah, that. Nah, that is just that. basically like i i for me i completely i fully believe that the matrix has an ending and i believe that the ending for me is the story i just put on the table because there's only one theory that everybody has there's another layer of reality. There's another layer. There's an, everybody had the same. Everybody thought that was going to happen in revolutions. Yeah, it, matrix within a matrix. So, yeah. so therefore, the question is, okay, how do we break? So, to chosen one who says, oh, he likes the, the ending. How do you break that? You're always going to wind up in the same place because there's only one way the story goes. It's another fake matrix. It's not a fake matrix. And it's a computer. It's going to keep making face fake matrices. So you could actually have one character who is called the ultimate architect. And he's, he's the one who just keeps infinitely creating new ones, new layers, new layers. And then Neo, because he's dying, it's going to, the prophecy is that he has the philosophy of brute force hacking and it's going to come through, it's going to be embodied in a single anomaly. And that anomaly is what is, is going to ultimately fight the ultimate architect. And can the anomaly accelerate quicker than the ultimate architect can make fake matrices? If they can, you break free. That's so the what, only way. But what's break free? Break free into what? Into the know. actual real world. The actual real world. And the what, actual real world. Okay, that's fine. I'm just trying to walk through this. And what does the actual real world look like? We don't know. I don't know. No, and, no, we don't and, know. And chosen one, the ultimate ending is like the Truman Show. We never see what it looks like. Mm. Anyway, yeah. Like the person, you just awake and then boom, it just goes to, to black. You, that's it. Now you're there. And so, no, but because see, for me, like that ending of revolutions is a is 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 a piece of crap. Like, oh, there was a truce and there's peace. How much? No, no. If you want to continue the theme, what is the theme of the Matrix? The first film. What is real? How do you define real? That is the theme of the Matrix. So to carry on that theme of what is real is you questioning reality, and you trying to wake up from this dream. And now finding trying to wake up into all oh, this. Listen, so so the whole thing of the matrix, whether it's four, five, six, seven, eight, it's all in search of the real world. We're trying to break out of the ultimate prison. It's like the ultimate, ultimate prison 
with the main aim of I'm trying to we're trying to really gain free and actually get into this real world that is hidden under several levels of these um constructs, you know. I mean, so I that, feel like... that would have been one of the endings of the century if revolutions actually ended like that, man. Or like, 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 like as a myth. No, no, basically, oh. half, half of people like that, literally, people will not, people will actually not accept to die as humans until they put out a pot full. If they well, did that like, in, in 2003... No, 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 see, <laughs> if, if they brought us an ending where like, these, or basically, you see them celebrate, or, oh, it's a piece of celebration, and then the, the camera just pans, and then, and, the, and you were like in Zion, and you basically just see, you just see like a green code, just come up no, in or, Zion. Or, like, or, 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 or if somehow they're all celebrating, but then it pans and they're just like one screen of many different screens, and oh. some, <laughs> you know, and there's some, and there's somebody just sitting down watching them, all different, yeah. cele- you know, celebrations in different variations. Boom, and and oh. then I'm telling you, people will not die on in life. Until they bring out matrix, yeah, no, 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 but but, but that is how it should have ended. (laughs) It's like, (laughs) so no, this this is like, sorry, the moment you saw Neo stop those things in the world, I was like, oh, yeah, and also, even when you look at the beginning of revolutions, when you see the golden code go into the green, it's like, oh, yeah, like it's obviously this is obviously a different level, and obviously, Neo being the anomaly, he's obviously cracked mentally psychological that oh I've now cracked that cracked that this is fake this isn't real this is another level so yeah 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 or, or, or it could be something like um you remember um flash code in the beginning where they're saying oh, oh I do like to play with you or when you talk about earth what's this, this earth or like basically like if like that they, they they sort of showed them you know the um um what's it, what's it um the oracle and the um architect and you know when they're sitting and you see that rainbow and when they oh, have yeah, the yeah, and then they're just on one screen. Then it pans out, and there are many different screens of different people celebrating. So, and then there's somebody sitting there, and they say some line like "stability achieved" or something mm-hmm. like that, mm-hmm. just to ram it home. Boom! That's it. Yeah, because because once that happens, it's like this is an ending. But you're like, no, now what? <laughs> But but the ending makes sense because the ending connects with what this entire matrix thing has been about, which is what is real, because because it's it's runs home so well because Morpheus just told you what is real, how do you define real? But once we went to the real world, we didn't carry on what Morpheus told us that. Why don't we question when we're in the real world? We just don't question it. You know, I'm, I'm just, just looking at, at, I'm just looking at this world. picture. I'm just looking at this picture. See see see. And I think it's, a, it's, 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 it's a difference. There's a difference. Look, I, I'm, looking at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about Luke, and I just think about see, people, it's it's very it's very simple. It is rich about there's a concerted effort against you might call it the white wasp, the white Anglo-Saxon male Protestant guy, that that person. It's like you want to look at that image you just you just had of him flying, and you want to destroy it. Yeah. You know, you, just, you know, you look at an image of Luke at the end of Last Jedi when he's coming to celebrate with Han and whatever you call it, and you just want to dis- you want to destroy that. There's something about you that you want that concept destroyed. 